Hi guys, my name is Yvonne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. I know long time no video. I have missed making videos. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know it has been crazy. It's been crazy around here, but I wanted to get back into making videos. So I thought I'd start with these adorable bees. Oh my God, you guys, these are so fast and quick to make using this uh, blanket yarn. I saw these all over TikTok last year. Several people shared a lot of different sizes. So I started playing around and I came up with a few of these different sizes. The one we're going to make today is this one right here in the middle, but I will have the directions on how to make the other two as well. Okay, this one is perfect for like little babies to hold on to. My grandkids like this one, but then they also like the middle one. So um, I'm going to tell you guys what we need to get started. All right, guys. So the materials that I used for my bees was the Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn in yellow. This one is called Buttercup. And then we have white and then we have the black. The hook sizes that I used are of course my favorites, Clover Amore brand. This one's a size L, it's a 8.0 millimeter hook. And we have the K, which is a 6.5 millimeter hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you want a tapestry needle. And you wanna make sure that this hole right here is big enough for the blanket yarn to fit through there. And you also need a pair of safety eyes. This size is uh, 10 millimeter. I will have everything that I used down in the description box below. So guys, grab your materials and let's get hooking. All right, so we're gonna start with the L hook and we're gonna start with the magic ring or the magic circle. And the way I do mine is I wrap it around my finger like this and I bring it over. Loosen that up a little bit like that. Bring your hook underneath, grab the yarn, pull it up, take your finger out, and then chain one. And then all you're gonna do is tighten that like this. And we're gonna be working inside the circle here, okay? And we're gonna do six single crochets inside the circle. So we're gonna start by inserting our hook inside like this. Grab your yarn, bring it through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, go through both. That's your first one. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it up, yarn over, go through both. All right, so you need to do four more for a total of six. That's three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and join first. So in the first single crochet under both loops, join with the slip stitch. So pull the yarn through and then pull it through and tighten and then chain one. And then you're gonna go ahead and then you're just gonna pull this through like that, pull it like that and close it up. All right, so that was round one. And now we're gonna do round two. This is gonna be an increase round. So what we're gonna do is in each single crochet that we just made, we're gonna put two single crochets inside. So we'll have a total of 12 stitches at the end. So let's go ahead. I'll do the first couple with you. So insert your hook under both loops like that. Yarn over, drop a loop. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, go through both. In the same stitch, make one more single crochet just like that. All right, next stitch, do two more, insert your hook, yarn over, draw it through like that, two loops on your hook, yarn over, and go through both. So we're gonna do this all the way around, two single crochets into each stitch, and again, you will have a total of 12 single crochets at the very end. I will meet you when I am done with round two. 
All right, so I am done with my last single crochet. And again, we're going to join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. So insert your hook underneath, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through that loop. And then tighten that up. And then chain one. Okay. So now for round three, we are going to do another increase round. And we're going to insert our hook into the first single crochet and then do one single crochet like that and then we are going to do two in the next one so insert your hook just like this and we're going to do two that's our increase and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around so we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet, two single crochets. Okay, you're gonna have a total of 18 stitches at the end. So let's do one more repeat. So that's insert your hook, yarn over, draw it through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, go through both. And then now we're gonna do two single crochets in the next stitch. There's one, and here's the second. All right, so go ahead, continue that pattern all the way around, and I will meet you when I am done with round three. All right, so I am done with round three, and I have 18 single crochets. So now let's go ahead and let's join. Pull that tight, and then we're going to chain one. I always pull that tight, too. All right, so round four... Our repeat is going to look like this. We are going to work one single crochet in the next two stitches. So here's one and here's two. And then the third stitch, we are going to work two single crochets in that stitch. And this is what we're going to do all the way around. That is our repeat. All right. So again, one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the same stitch. You should have a total count of 24 single crochets. I will meet you back here at the end of round four. All right, so I am done with round four and I have 24 single crochets. Now that is our last increase round. So now we're going to join with the slip stitch, pull that tight, chain one. Round five, we're going to do one single crochet into each single crochet all the way around. So that's one, two, three, and continue doing your single crochets all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round five. All right, so I am done with round five. So now we're gonna change colors and we're gonna start making the B stripe. Okay, so this is the way I change colors. You can change colors however you'd like to. Normally, you would put your new color at this point. You would you would finish your last stitch with the new color, but um, I do it this way. I go ahead and I slip stitch just like this, pull that tight. I grab the new color and then I pull it through. And then I tighten this one here in the back okay and then I wrap this in front like that and I do a chain one and then I tighten this okay and now round six we are going to do one single crochet into each single crochet around so I'm going to go ahead we're going to insert our hook and then I work over, usually I work over the first one like that. Okay. This is going to get sewn in or like I normally tie these together with the other one. Once I take, uh, once we're done with black, I tie them together and then they won't go anywhere. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and continue round six, and it's just gonna be one single crochet all the way around. And you are not cutting off your yellow because we're gonna use it again. So we're just gonna be going black, yellow, black, yellow, okay? So um, go ahead, guys, and finish round six with one single crochet into each around. And I will meet you when I am done with round six. All right, so I am done with round six. So now we're going to slip stitch to join. Pull that tight, drop the black yarn, and then grab the yellow and we're gonna continue, pull that. Now round seven, again, we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch around. All right, so go ahead, insert your hook, and single crochet into each stitch around. And I will meet you when I am done with round seven. All right, so I am at the end of round seven. Now before I join, this is the part where I put the eyes in. And I usually, this part I use as the bottom, okay? So this is the bottom part. And I put the eyes, this is gonna be like the middle right here, here's the center. So I go one, two, three, and then in the fourth row is where I put the eyes, okay? And the blanket yarn is kind of, it's really thick. So what I have found is you really have to make sure that you get it right in between like that, okay? just in case it pulls out. You don't want it to pull out. And see how you can see it's kind of like um, really big because this, this yarn is chunky. So just another safety measure. What I like to do is I like to put a little bit of glue. I use the Tombow, the multi-liquid glue, but you can use a craft, any type of craft glue. And I just put some like this around the eyes just like that, and then you know it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, so again, I'm just lining it up here, just like in the middle like this, and then I'm gonna place it in there like that, okay? And then you're gonna take the back part and just flip it over, and pop that in. just like that. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? So when I get the other one in, I will show you, we're gonna do the mouth after that, so I'll show you how to do that, all right? All right, so both eyes are in. So now let's go ahead and do the mouth. I forgot to tell you, we're just gonna need a little scrap of black worsted weight yarn. And Okay, so we're gonna put it right here in the middle. Let's see. As you can see, it just looks like a little V, like that. All right, so go ahead, pop the needle through like this. Okay, pull it through. And then what I do is I put it to the other side and then Poke it down like that. Okay, so that looks like a little line across like that. So now I go down here and I'm gonna poke it through the bottom, like right there. Pull that up. To get that little V, what I do is I just bring this down, put the needle underneath like that and then poke it through like that and it pulls it down just like that or you can do it however you'd like but see cute little V like that 
All right, and then what I do is I turn this inside out. And I just tie a little knot. This is the inside, so we're not going to see it at all. So there you go. I'll do one more. Just like that. Snip that off. All right. And there you go. Cute little mouth. So now we're going to do, let me see, this is round eight. So we're going to slip stitch like this. Pull that tight. And then we're going to change to black. So let's see, we'll get that one out of the way. Bring the black one in, just like that. Pull the yellow, pull that tight. And now we're going to do a single crochet all the way around. And this is row, round, I should say, not row. We're working in rounds. This is round eight. So go ahead and do a single crochet all the way around. And I will meet you when I am done with round eight. All right, so I am done with round eight. So again, we're going to join with the slip stitch. Just like that, pull tight and then bring in the yellow yarn and then pull that black one tight like that. And row nine, we are going to do one single crochet all the way around. All right, so just like this, one single crochet all the way around. And I will meet you at the end of round nine. All right, so I'm done with round nine. So let's go ahead and we're going to change colors again. This will be our last color change. So let's go ahead, tighten that up. And again, round 10 is going to be one single crochet into each single crochet all the way around. Just like this, guys. I will meet you at the end of round 10. All right, guys, so I am done with round 10 and we're going to join our yellow and we're going to snip off our black yarn just like that. Let's pull out a little bit of yarn. Now this is the part we're going to tie these two ends together and you don't want it like super tight because you don't want it to pull down you just want to make it a little bit loose and tie a knot like that all right so now round 11 we are going to work one single crochet all the way around. So insert your hook. That's one and two and just keep on going. And I will meet you at the end of round 11. All right, so I am finished with round 11 and now we're going to start round 12, which is a decrease round. I've already joined and I chained one. So this is how the decrease is going to look and it will be a repeat. So we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So here's one, two, and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches. So a single crochet decrease and we're only going to put our hook in the front loop like this, like this. Grab the yarn, bring it under go into the next front loop of the following stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, go through all three loops on your hook. 
and that's your single crochet decrease. And the reason why we do that, it helps with um, eliminating like the gaps in between here. So let's go ahead. I will do another repeat with you. We're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one. And here is two. And then we're going to decrease. So bring your hook underneath the first loop only. Bring the yarn through. Go into the next front loop like that. Bring it through. Yarn over. Go through both. Just like that. So go ahead and do that repeat all the way around and I will meet you here at the end of round 12. All right, I am done with round 12 and I've already joined and I chained one. Now the next repeat is gonna look like this. We are going to do one single crochet in the same stitch as the one that we joined in. So there's one and then we're gonna do another decrease. So insert your hook under the loop like that bring it the yarn through like that do the same thing to the next stitch just like this yarn over go through all three and that's going to be our repeat so single crochet into the next stitch and then decrease just like that we'll do that all the way around and I will meet you here when I am done with round 13. All right, I am done with round 13 and we are going to stuff our B, which of course I forgot to tell you we needed stuffing too. My God, you guys, I'm rusty. So let's go ahead, grab our stuffing. And you don't want to overstuff the B, but you just want him firm. Okay. just like that as you don't want the stuffing showing through your stitches all right that feels good we're still gonna do a little bit more let me see after the last row all right so now, round 14, chain one. Now this is gonna be uh, a decrease all the way around. So again, we should have had 12 stitches. So now we're gonna decrease going under the front loops only. So there's one, okay, one, and two, just like this, and we're going to decrease all the way around. And I will meet you at the end of round 14. All right, I'm at the end of round 14. I've already joined, and so now we're going to just go ahead and we're going to do a little chain like this. And you want a generous piece of yarn like that. And then you're gonna pull it through okay now see you can still use a little more stuffing here so I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it a little more all right so now grab your needle And then this is the way I do it. I just go into the front loop of each stitch around like this. Like that. And then you just pull it and see how it closes like that. Now you can kind of see that there are like, cause the yarn is so big and chunky. There are a little bit of holes, but this is what I do. I just weave in my ends, and since this yarn is so chunky, it starts covering up any little holes. If you kind of overstuffed a little bit or what have you, this will help pull the stitches together, which is awesome. 
So I just do that and I just look around, make sure I cover everything up. Just like that. And see right here, there's another one there. So I'm just gonna bring my yarn down here like this. And there. So now, just go back and forth. And like that. And you wanna pull tight, cut it off. Just like that. Now we're ready for the wings. All right, so the wings are super easy to make and we're gonna use the K-hook. So we're gonna start with the magic circle. Again, wrapping it around my finger like this. And if you do it a different way, just go ahead and do it however you'd like to. And I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna tighten that up. And then we're gonna do six single crochets inside the magic circle. So insert your hook, pull that up, and there's your first one. So there's one and two, three, four, five, and six. And then I found it easier to join with a slip stitch, pull that, chain one, and then you're gonna pull this part, okay? So now that's round one. So round two, we're gonna increase. So you're gonna do two single crochets into each stitch around. Again, inserting your hook into that first single crochet. There's one and there is two. So go ahead and do that all the way around. And I will meet you when I am done with round two. All right, so I'm done with round two and I've already joined and I chained one. So now round three, we are going to work in a half double crochet. All right, so we are gonna do a half double crochet. So we're gonna do yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch yarn over draw up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over go through all three loops on your hook that's your first half double crochet now in the next stitch we're going to do two half double crochets so we're increasing all right so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over draw up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over go through all three Work another one, yarn over in the same stitch, bring it through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all three. So that's gonna be the repeat all the way around. So next stitch is um, one half double crochet in the next stitch, just like this. And then two half double crochets in the next stitch. So you're working two half double crochets in the same stitch. So do this pattern, repeat pattern all the way around and you're gonna end up with 18 stitches. All right, so I am done with round three and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna join with a slip stitch, chain one and we're gonna snip this off Okay, pull that like that. So now we need to sew the wings on. And I'll show you, make another one. So you, got, you got, need, need two wings. So let's see. What I did is I just took my B from the nose part and I went down the middle like this. And I sew mine into the middle of the black line. Okay, so you're going to take it like this, like right here. And then 
what I do is I'll start sewing it. I usually do like three stitches. So I'll go one, two, three. So I put it under here like this. And like that. And then I'll do the other side like this. Okay, so just like that. And what I also do is I put it under like this. And then I take this part like this so that it kind of stays down and it's not like dangling. Okay, like that. And then I take this part and I also weave it in to the body. So I'll take a stitch and I'll go down like this. And then I will put it like this. Weave it into the body like that. And then pull tight. And just keep weaving like that. And then I do, I go another time like this. I'll sew it back and forth. Kind of like that. Just want to make sure this is super tight. Like that. And you start, this one I snip off first. Like that. All right, and this one I will continue to weave in a little, a few more times right here. And then, so the next one, the one that you're gonna place, and I won't do this on camera, but I just wanted to show you. I skip this middle black one right here, and then I crochet the other wing. So skip this one and I'll do the black here and I'll start on the yellow, just like this underneath, just like that. Oop. Like that, just so they're a little separated. All right, so continue sewing your wings on and I will meet you back here when I am done with mine. All right, guys, so I'm done with the wings. We are finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me bring the baby in. I added a little bit of pink yarn here just for a little cheek highlights. But as you can see, it looks cute even without it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. I know I'm rusty. I got to get back in the game. <laughs> But um, I will be making more videos. So if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do so so that you don't miss my next video. Um, click that little bell icon so that way you'll be notified. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make lots of bees. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.